internet how are you today um i'm liz if you don't know i blog over at baby.ba.com um and nina over at flowers in my hair and bex at butcher's niche uh asked challenged me to participate in the golden vlog link up this month so i'm doing that it's hosted by faith at um, life with mrs g and the artist and there are some questions here, and I'm going to answer them because that's what we do when we vlog. 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 Things are going well. I may edit this, I may not, so we'll see. Okay, uh, question one. What's your favorite Christmas song? And sing a few bars, question mark. My favorite Christmas song, um, I, I don't think I have one. Everything is my favorite. I love Christmas music. So a uh, couple of favorites. We Need a Little Christmas. Um, I like the Johnny Mathis version. I like the version from Mame. Um, I want to have Potamus for Christmas. Always a classic. Um, <laughs> recently, through Spotify Radio, I have found um, Andy Williams' version of Kay Thompson's Jingle Bells. Um, I'll play. You, I'll play you my favorite part from that because I'm nice, and because I'm not singing. So. <laughs> Time is here again. Come on, we're so, going for it. so I really like that. <laughs> um, the other day I had kind of an existential crisis when I realized that one of my favorite, one of the songs that had entered my like favorite round of songs was by Barry Manilow. I was like, I don't know how I feel about this. It is, um, Christmas is just around the corner, I think it's called. Um, also from Spotify. So I've been finding some great stuff from Spotify. Um, but yeah, I just, I love Christmas music. I love all of it. So <laughs> there's not a lot that I don't like. So I don't really have a favorite. So let's go to question two because that was convoluted. Do you open your presents Christmas Eve or Christmas Day? Um, <laughs> this is complicated. Uh, my parents are divorced, so I open my presents both on Christmas Eve and on Christmas Day. Um, kind of the way we've done it my entire life, or since I was like seven, is um, I'll go to my dad's the night before Christmas Eve, Christmas Eve Eve, uh, sleep there, wake up, we'll do Christmas presents at my dad's house with me and my dad and my stepmom Christmas Eve morning. Um, then we'll go visit my dad's side of the family Christmas Eve day into night. So then I'll go to my mom's parents' house, my grandparents' house my mom's side spend the night there Christmas Eve and wake up on Christmas Day and open presents there so it's like 24 hours of awesome um, it's great it's like two days of Christmas which I love or like 48 hours of awesome I guess math is good wizard okay um are you a last minute oh question three are you a last minute present wrapper? Are you done buying and wrapping presents way in advance? I have done not much Christmas shopping at all and it is the 20, oh no, it's not the 22nd. I'm going home on the 22nd. It's the 16th. Um, I usually buy presents in advance. This year has been crazy with school. So I haven't gotten a chance to buy anything. I, I did some today because today is my Saturday. So I usually buy in advance and wrap not in advance at all. Um, I'm usually still wrapping the day before Christmas Eve. In fact, my dad has always given me a pile of his gifts to the family and had me wrap them the night before Christmas Eve. That's part of our tradition. So I'm always wrapping gifts on the 23rd. Uh, but I'm a very last minute wrapper, which is a shame because I really would love, like in my mind, presents are always like so pretty and I'm like, I could use pretty ribbon and do all this fun stuff and I never do because I'm just like get the paper on it so maybe maybe one day maybe 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 one day but no always always very late question number four uh, what is your favorite Christmas movie again lots of them um, some of the top runners though are elf Christmas Vacation. I love Christmas Vacation. I've watched it every year of my life, I think, and even when I was way too young and it was way inappropriate, I we watched it. And so I love Christmas Vacation. I really love Elf. I quote Elf all the time. That's my most quoted Christmas movie for sure. Um, both of the Home Alones are fantastic. Uh, Muppet Christmas Carol. 
you have to watch Muppet Christmas Carol. I also really love Love Actually and The Holiday, which are kind of like not super Christmassy holiday movies. So yeah, I have, I have a long list. I love White Christmas. I got to see White Christmas at the Music Box Theater last year, and that was really special. Um, so again, everything is my favorite. Christmas is my favorite. Christmas is my favorite. Uh, question five. What are a couple things on my wish list? Um, I'm one of the only vloggers, I think, in the world who hasn't made this post. Um, there were a couple things on my wish list that I sent to my mom's side of the family. They're always like, what is on your list? I asked for, um, what did I ask for? Now I've forgotten. That's embarrassing. I asked, oh, I asked for a naked blush and bronzer set. I asked for, uh, the big thing on my wish list was a camera. Um, my friend Marcy has uh, a pretty nice camera and I asked for the same kind of camera she has and then like two days later she texted me and was like, want to buy my camera? And so I was like, talk to my mother. Um, so that might happen. I'm not really sure. Um, I had like really like simple things. Like I asked for a litter genie for the cat, like for Binks. So, you know, that was on my list. <laughs> Who am I? Who am I? I don't know. But nothing like nothing really big oh i oh oh i know what i asked for i asked for wait for it wait for it i asked for another one of these another alex and annie disney bracelet i have the castle and i asked for one with mickey on it um it's like a fancy swirly mickey i asked for that um so just some makeup some clothes i did ask for clothes some jewelry a scarf so stuff like that simple uh, do, 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 come on, we're going for a sleigh ride. I don't know what question I'm Question six, I think. Yes. What is the favorite, oh, favorite again. What is a favorite Christmas memory you have? This is so hard. I just, I love Christmas so much. Um, some of my favorite times have been, like, not actual Christmas day. I really like to celebrate the whole season, and I think the season starts the day after Halloween. Sue me. I don't care. Um, so some of my favorite things are going out to Chicago to the Chris Kindle Market. Um, in Daily Plaza, they have a bunch of, like, artisan booths and some amazing food and spiced wine, and everything is delicious. And, um, I've gone pretty much every year with the exception of a couple of years since high school. So, um, I really enjoy that. I'm not going to go this year probably, A, because there's no time. I'm only home for four days and two of those days are Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. And also because I am in Florida now and I will freeze to death. It's so cold. Um, last year me and some girls in my small group, we went to church downtown and then we went to the Chris Kindle Mart and then we went to Macy's downtown and then we went to White Christmas at the Music Box Theater. It was a sing-along version, and that was really, really fun. So that's one of, and I just, I love Christmas. I love time with my family. I love days of just like baking and just baking and baking until you can't stand anymore and then collapsing and watching Christmas movie. Um, so there's not a lot that like stands out as like, this is the best Christmas memory. It's just uh, Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. Um, do, do, do. Question seven. If you are married, how do you split up time with each family? I'm not married. I'm uber single. So question eight. Uh, do you stay up until midnight on New Year's Eve? I am really bad at New Year's Eve. Uber bad. Um, I don't think about New Year's Eve until Christmas is over. So a lot of the time I'll be like, oh, tomorrow's New Year's Eve. What am I doing? I always stay up till midnight. Sometimes I stay up by myself. <laughs> um, but I've, I've done some fun things. Last year I was in Denver. I was with my best friend and her family and um, our mutual friend, her maid of honor. Um, we were at her maid of honor's house and um, celebrated that way. And that was really fun. Uh, two years before that, I was at the, Dis at the Polynesian Hotel at Disney World and we got drinks and went out and watched the fireworks on the beach at 12 and that was really fun. Some night, I think two years ago, I had just gotten home from Disney on New Year's Eve and I like went home and put on my pajamas and didn't do anything and then my friends came over after, um, after the ball dropped. So that was, I think we're about to have a cat appearance. No? Oh, okay. Um, so it's just, oh, oh there he is. 
all over the place. Um, but um, I always stay up. I always stay up. Question nine. Do you get dressed up or get comfy in your PJs? Both. I've done both. This is Binks. Say hello. Say hello. Say hello. No, you're not having it. Okay. Um, I, I, both. I've done both. I've gotten dressed up. I've put on PJs. I've done both. Because I never have a tradition. I just kind of figure it out as I go. Question 10. Do you have your resolutions planned by the new year or think of them? Or, um, I'm too zoomed in. Think of them once the year is here. Um, I am bad at resolutions and I actually don't really make my resolutions New Year's Eve or New Year's for the new year. I usually make them on at my blog anniversary, which is end of August, beginning of September. I think. I don't even know. Um, I usually make them around August. Uh, that's when my birthday is. That's when my I started my blog and my blog kind of started with like a list of resolutions. Um, so I usually don't make them for the new year because it's the last cause. I know I'm not going to make any changes <laughs> based on New Year's resolution. It's just, it's not going to happen. So, because I am bad at change. Um, so I, I don't plan them. I don't think about them. I'll think about them in August when I think about how I failed um, my other ones. So, yeah, that is my vlog. Um... Yeah, this has been fun. I think I definitely will keep participating in this once a month. I need to figure out if I'm going to upload it to a new channel based on my blog or if I'm going to upload it. Me and my friend Marcy actually have um, every week we send each other videos on YouTube, which is kind of what YouTube was invented for. So we're just, you know, seven years behind the times. <laughs> um, but we send each other videos on a weekly basis just to kind of update each other and um, post them to each other's Facebook walls and then kind of do nothing with them. So if you want to check those out, they're public. I'm the link is in my on my blog. It's the little YouTube button, um, and I'll link to it in the description of this video. But um, it's a fun little thing we do. So I might actually upload it to that channel. I have to ask Mercy. Um, but yeah, I definitely think I'll keep doing this. It's fun. I really like to do it. And maybe I'll learn how to edit videos because <laughs> all of my Marcy videos are in one take like this one maybe I don't know I'll have to see okay this was fun Merry Christmas uh I'm wearing a reindeer sweater I'm, I'm not gonna bother showing you <laughs> I don't I'm bad at ending vlogs I'm bad at it okay I will talk to you later internet I'll see you around bye